with social media being a buzz with complaints about food prices and Chinese New Year surcharges in different food and beverage establishments, one online user recently called out such outcries. Arguing that the surcharge is to pay hawkers extra for working when they could be with their families. So many people complain about the food price increase or extra surcharge during this CNY period. The post read. If you find it expensive, then don't eat. If not you can't be a hawker during CNY and let the hawkers rest. See how much you want to sell for one bowl of noodles or one plate of chicken rice. Hawkers sacrifice their time from celebrating CNY with their family, charge a bit more also KPKB. If you find it expensive, then just go eat Malay food or Indian food law. The post, shared in the Complaint Singapore group on Sunday, February 11th, got a mixed response from online users. I remember you could hardly find a food stall open during CNY when I was young. Said one. You could only eat Indian or Malay food. Now, there are more stalls open at this period and all complaining about the extra charges. Wait till they decide to close during this period and all will complain again why all stalls don't want to operate. Come on la, it's been ages since this practice has been in Singapore. Imagine if people who are supposed to be on holiday came back to work just to provide you with food. Don't you think those workers should get double pay? You are not paying just for food, but also for the food stall or restaurant workers, double pay as well. A third wrote, I'm okay with the extra charge, but your logic is wrong. The hawker can rest also, right? This does not mean you come out to serve to make money for the extra charge. Or maybe no extra charge, see any hawker still come out to serve the public. Another argued that regardless of what hawkers do or don't do, there would still be complaints. Life is really difficult nowadays, they wrote. Hawker closed Kina KPKB and opened also Kina KPKB. Then how all?